Welcome to Tesla Vision. Today we will talk about the most recent Tesla news and updates. Let's get into it right away. Tesla Progress, with its new flagship sedan, has been revealed through the shared images of Tesla Model S Plaid parked on a San Francisco street. A few pictures shared online demonstrate that a spotted vehicle was most likely used as a test mule since quite a few parts from its interior and exterior were missing. Thus, trims were missing on the passenger side of the center console and at the base of the T in the yoke steering wheel. There were a few diagnostic cables hanging out from the center console. The pillar panel exposed some cables as it was partially removed from the passenger side. The car must have recently been updated, as at the back of the vehicle, right beside the VIN, there was a May sticker. There have been numerous sightings of Teslas in the neighborhood over the past several months. Those people who saw them did not manage to pinpoint any major differences in their appearance. It is possible to claim, therefore, the Tesla might have been working on updating either the hardware or the software of the vehicle, rather than its exterior. Several pieces of black gaffer's tape covered the side cameras of the car, and a tow hook was attached at the front of the vehicle. The pictures give us an idea of what the interior of the new model would look like. The 8-inch rear screen, easily spotted in the pictures, is large enough to display media contents. The rear seat space seems to be spacious enough as well. The Model S Plaid would come with ventilated or heated, when necessary, seats that are considered to be the best seats in the market so far. Depending on the increased supply chain and production processes, Tesla will soon begin the Model S Plaid and refresh deliveries. In order to develop high-quality, long-lasting electric vehicle batteries, Tesla seems to have purchased a Canadian battery startup, Spring Power International, established in 2010, having obtained three important patents for $3 each. The purchase took place just three days before the official Tesla Battery Day event, and it made possible for Tesla to actually start the production of rechargeable lithium-ion batteries from cathode materials. At the Battery Day event, Tesla talked a lot about its plans on in-house production of its own 4680 battery cells. It was also mentioned that the company was not going to completely abandon its reliance on third-party suppliers and will continue to cooperate with Panasonic and LG Chem, for instance, in order to get the required number of batteries supplied. With Tesla expanding its production rate, the new batteries provide many advantages, including increased energy, increased range, as well as six times more power compared with those Tesla used to use. Eventually, Tesla's new batteries should make it possible for the company to reach the much sought price parity with internal combustion engine vehicles. Several Spring Power employees are now more or less officially Tesla employees. Yang Liu, Spring Power research and development chemist, has turned into Tesla's senior research engineer. Amrit Bogan, Spring Power's former chemical technologist, is now Tesla's cell engineering technician. It is not the first time that Tesla has dealt with a Canadian company in order to solve a particularly tricky engineering or design problem. High Bar Systems, an Ontario-based company, has been working with Tesla in the area of battery cell production. Moreover, in May of 2019, Tesla purchased California-based Maxwell Technologies Company, a battery and ultra-capacitor producer. It is expected that the design and production of the new Tesla battery cells will be enabled by Jeff Don and his research team. While Tesla is working on its custom 4680 battery cells that would comprise the most important part of its future vehicle lineup, Ford and BMW received $130 million to be used in work on an elusive technology of setting up a solid-state battery startup. The venture capital firm Volta Energy Technologies is a part of the Series B investment. The funds collected will allow the expansion of the solid power in-house manufacturing. This will position it as a supplier of the Ford and BMW. Peter Lamb from BMW Research Battery Cell believes that the technology will be released by the end of the decade. The funding will prove to be beneficial for the startup as it will position it on a solid footing. The solid-state batteries being developed are high-capacity energy storage devices. They function by using conductive solid material instead of gels or liquids used in conventional cells. The battery potentially provides better safety level and more energy density. Compared with lithium-ion batteries, for instance, the recent technology provides 50% more energy density. 
Solid state batteries are more durable, but also much more expensive than lithium ion ones. In California, Tesla EV buyers can get $1,500 as the state clean fuel reward. The discount is valid for the purchase of all four Tesla models. This step was taken by the California Air Resources Board with a motive to make the purchase of electric vehicles easier. The incentive can be availed by all the California residents who are Tesla owners from November 2020 to December 31, 2021. The vehicle purchased needs to be registered in California. Only then the buyers will be eligible for the reward. Both battery electric vehicles and plug hybrid electric vehicles are qualified for the incentive. The goal of this new incentive program is to increase the number of electric vehicles on the roads of California. The reduction of $1,500 in the price of EVs might make them more affordable for low-income families. The cars eligible for the clean fuel reward include vehicles with a 5 kWh plus battery capacity, including the plug-in hybrid and battery electric vehicles. The Tesla vehicles, equipped with large batteries, are qualified for the $1,500 reward. Pavel Petrika, a former Tesla employee, left Elon Musk's company, where he worked for almost five years in March. However, on his personal website, he revealed a number of new renders and animations of not only Tesla's Cybertruck, but also of its full self-driving system. The renderings thus published seem to have shown the vehicle's interior, as well as the planned animation and general UI infrastructure potentially ready for the use by Tesla upon the commencement of the truck's deliveries in late 2021. All the data was later removed from the website, while it has not been confirmed that it indeed had anything to do with the real Tesla Cybertruck, the very fact of its quick removal kinda points in this direction. Since the Cybertruck unveiling, it has been going through a number of inspection sessions attended by Tesla management and design teams. As some Tesla owners claimed to have difficulty parking the Cybertruck into their garages, it was necessary to make the Cybertruck much more compact. The vehicle has undergone some slight modifications and been redesigned to achieve the results sought. Tesla adjusted the size of the Cybertruck by making it around 3% smaller than its initial size so that it could comfortably fit into the boring company tunnels. Tesla owners also got the idea of what software version 11 would look like through the full self-driving animations. In late 2020, at the holiday update, some features of version 11 were released by Tesla. To help with the data labeling, Tesla has been working on developing extensive neural network training software. Musk says that the full self-driving beta is moving forward. Along with the redesign of the driving visualization feature, it is expected that Tesla might redesign the animations that were posted by Pietrika. Vijay Rakesh, the analyst of Mizuho Securities, has expressed his approval of Tesla's 4680 battery cells. Between the raw cost of Tesla's electric vehicles and their internal combustion counterparts, 4680 battery cells will be playing a major role in making the vehicles more powerful and significantly decreasing their production costs. Nowadays, vehicles are judged more by their costs and practicality rather than by their performance. Tesla has been working on developing a car that will cost $25,000. The vehicle is expected to make its debut in China in near future. However, in order to make this pipe dream a reality, Tesla needs to use everything it has at its disposal in order to compete with other already affordable EVs on the market. A major step in this direction the volume production of 4680 battery cells is expected to take place in a year. However, Tesla has also emphasized the fact that it is not abandoning its traditional battery suppliers, but rather supplementing them with its in-house battery production capacities. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. We post videos daily, so feel free to subscribe and stay up to date on all most recent news and updates.